y'all and welcome to the crazy sock lady youtube channel my name is Kay, and this is my youtube channel where i chat about all of my knitting adventures today is tuesday january 5th and it's been a bit since i've done a regular episode but i am back today with a few finished objects some works in progress and a couple of things that i received in the mail so you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as the crazy sock lady. And we do have a Ravelry group for this podcast links for all of these places, as well as show notes, links to shops, project pages, all of that is going to be right down below this video in the down bar. In the Ravelry group, we did have the Stash Busters knit along for 2020 that I was co-hosting with Julie from Twin Stitches Designs podcast. And that ran all throughout 2020. We drew prizes every quarter. So that did end at the end of December. I will be drawing prize winners for the fourth quarter, probably this week, and then announcing them on next week's podcast episode. So if you participated in the Stash Busters Cal, make sure that you tune in to see if you have won a prize. We do not have any knit alongs going on in the group right now. Probably start one coming up soon. If I feel inspired by something, if you guys have a knit along you would like to see down below, um, feel free to put your ideas down below. Um, going into this year, we won't have as many going on as once. I don't have a year long knit along planned, but that's just going to mean that when we do have a knit along going on, I can really focus on that and give it my all and not get too overwhelmed by multiple knit alongs going on at once because it does get quite overwhelming to try to keep up with prizes and the threads. I always feel like I fall behind in the threads and that, that is one of my favorite things about a knit along is getting to see what you guys are working on and participate in the chatter threads. So hopefully paring those down and not having quite as many at, going at once will allow me to take part in those things. We did hit 20,000 subscribers here on YouTube, which is just absolutely insane. Thank you guys so much for continuing to tune in. I know some of you have been here since the very beginning. I appreciate each and every one of you. And 20,000 means that we're gonna have to do quite an awesome little giveaway episode and that's going to be coming later this month. I have so many fun prizes that have come in that have been donated so far for this. I can't wait to share them with y'all. If you are a maker, there's still time to get prizes and if you want to donate a prize to the 20,000 subscriber giveaway, there's going to be multiple little, I'll probably put some of them together as prize packages. So if you want to donate, just get in touch with me at crazysockladypodcast at gmail.com. We have some fun gift cards that have been donated to different shops, Etsy shops, um, yarn dyers have donated some gift cards, some fun knitting needles have been donated, some bags. It's just going to be a lot of fun. So that's something to look forward to towards the end of this month. All right, let's jump in with some knitting. So I have a couple of finished objects, some socks, and I'm actually forgetting. I forgot to write one down and get it. It's over there. I'll have to grab that in just a minute. We'll go over the socks first. So this is not everything that's been finished since the last episode, but a lot of that has, was gifted and Eric's worn his socks, Wyatt's are in his room somewhere. <laughs> um, but yeah, so you could check out Vlogmas if you wanted to see some of the other finished objects that I completed between then and now, but I did grab a couple to show you. I finished this pair of socks. Christmas Eve, yes, and then I wore these Christmas Day. These are my Cozy Knitter Advent Socks. So she did a 24 stripe Advent skein, and the idea was to do one stripe a day starting December 1st, and then all the way to your last stripe was on December 24th. So I did my cuffs first and just some natural undyed yarn that I had. Then I did a slip stitch heel flap, gusset. It didn't mess with my stripes too much right in here, throwing that in um, because I did a contrast color. It just took one row off, so it didn't make too much of a difference. And then I used the contrast for the toes as well. And I did the last stripe and the toes on both socks because I knit them concurrently um, at the same time, but on separate needles. 
finished that on Christmas Eve and I got to wear them Christmas Day. I used a US 1 2.25 millimeter needles for these and I cast on 64 stitches. And I will definitely do this again next year. That's my second year doing her advent stripe skein and it's so much fun. It's just something super simple and easy that you can look forward to every day just adding a stripe on each sock and then you have a if you time it right and you finish those toes on Christmas Eve then you have socks to wear Christmas Day. I finished another pair of socks. These ones are Lofty Loops yarn. This was her Chestnuts colorway. This was the full skein that you opened on the 25th day on Christmas Day from her advent calendar. For these I just did, well those were a basic vanilla sock as well. This is a vanilla sock just meaning no patterning down the sock. Followed the vanilla socks on Magic Loop by Crazy Sock Lady Designs. Did Knit 2 Pearl 2 for the rib. Again, slip stitch heel flap. US 1 2.25 millimeter needles. And for this, I actually did two circular needles again. I'm pretty sure I talked about that on the last episode in November, but I have been working on a couple of different methods that you guys requested tutorials for, for Summer Sock Camp 2021. And one of them was two circulars. The first time I did it, I was not a fan. I just didn't enjoy it. I just could not, I don't know, grasp doing it over Magic Loop. But this second time, I actually enjoyed it. I really, truly think it was more the yarn that I was using for the last socks. I just wasn't a fan of working with that yarn. But this yarn is squishy and amazing. And I, I do think that Two Circulars will make its way into the rotation from time to time now. It will not go over top of Magic Loop or anything, but it will go in there occasionally. And there will definitely be a tutorial for that this summer in Sock Camp as well. Okay, let me grab this other finished object that I forgot over here. So one of my other Advent projects was a round and round cowl, which is one of my designs using my Blush Yarns Advent. I used 20 of the 25 minis for this and I paired it with some mohair that I had left over from a project hat, I think is what I did with that. But the mohair was from Legacy Fiber Arts and it's their vanilla bean. I think it's just an undyed mohair. There it is. Look at how pretty that is with the mohair. So the round and round cowl is written for just fingering weight. So with the addition of the mohair, I went up in needle size and I cast on a different amount. I will link the project page down below. I just followed the same as far as the, how many rows I did, how I worked the pattern, just cast on a different amount, went up and needle size to um, add in that mohair and still make it work. So happy with how that turned out. And the colors in the Blush Yarns Advent were so pretty. That's another thing you can see over on Vlogmas if you haven't watched those yet. I opened up the Advents daily. So I have three works in progress. That's it for finished objects. Works in progress I have, this is in my Fringe Supply Co. town bag. I have a Chevron shenanigans shawl in here. So I, did I talk on the last episode with Vlogmas all December? I don't remember what I talked about in November, but I had planned on doing the Hiber Knit Along. I completely forgot. We are not done with finished objects. How did I forget this? 
That is a Stephen West pattern and that's what reminded me of this. So I blocked my slip stravaganza. It's insanely huge. have to go through it like this so you guys can see because it is so so big I am shocked at how big it is <laughs> once I put it down it was pretty big unblocked but then once I put it down those blocking mats and blocked it oh my goodness so this is Wild Star Fibers is the yarns that I use. I can't remember off the top of my head. And since I forgot about this, I did not go back and look at the colorway names, but I will link the project page down below if you're interested in these colorways. They are all listed there. This is the Mystery Knit Along by Stephen West. It was so much fun to work on this. This was my very first Stephen West pattern and it will not be my last. I have planned on, that leads me to, I have planned on doing the Hiber Knit Along. I can't remember if I talked about that, but that's what I had planned on doing. When the patterns came out, it was not a mystery knit along, but the patterns were, he had talked about it being a knit along and then the patterns were released the day after Christmas, but they're gorgeous patterns. But I had recently finished this and the hibernate along patterns. There were two shawls to choose from. One had this um, honeycomb, or no, it was this one right here. This honeycomb motif. I don't think it stripes, but it, it was honeycomb. And then the other one was similar to this part right here, the border. So having just finished this, I did not want to knit those same stitch patterns again in another shawl. So I decided, I'd already bought the yarn, I bought four skeins, I decided let's go looking. My friend Carrie and I, we went hunting on Ravelry to find another pattern to do because we were planning on knitting along the hybrid knit along together. And we landed on Chevron Shenanigans and decided to do the largest version, which takes five skeins. So we hunted in our stashes, found a fifth skein, and got started. So here it is so far. It is a very fun pattern. I love these stripes. I've just finished this striped section, and now it's all going to be color B, the gold color. The yarns I'm using, let me get the tags out. The four that I bought are this brand. The gold is Saffron Spice. Um, the white is La Perla. I think this one is just the December 2020 colorway. And then this one is Meet Me at Midnight. This one's so pretty. Oh, then the fifth one is Emma's Yarn. My friend Jenny picked this up for me. I think when she was in Florida, she was on a trip. It's Emma's Yarn, crazy beautiful color, her practically perfect sock. And the colorway is Orbit. So this is gonna be my next color after the gold. This will be my third color. And then I think the way I decided is that'll be fourth and that'll be fifth. So it should be a fairly large shawl. I have two more works in progress. And just to let you guys know how much I had not had enough coffee this morning when I wrote these show notes, I forgot 
my Christmas sweater too, my beaded Christmas sweater. It's blocked and all of that, but it is upstairs in the bedroom. So I will plan on wearing that for next week's episode and giving it the full glory that it needs to show that off. So we'll, we'll chat about that next week. My next work in progress is a Musselberg hat. Look how crazy this thing looks so far. <laughs> so I have this in a bag that came with the blush yarns advent. I think I still have the tag. Yes, it is by Creations by Yuli. I believe I'm saying that correctly. That's her Instagram. It's Knitter's Nook on Etsy. I'll link um, her Etsy shop down below. But this was in the Blush Yarns Advent. The fabric is gorgeous. It's sparkly. I don't know if that's picking up on the camera or not. But I am knitting a Musselberg hat, which is a pattern by Yazolda Teague. I'm going to pull up the photo here on the front because it looks like a crazy tube right now. This is what it will end up looking like. It is an any gauge type of pattern. It tells you how many stitches per inch. Um, I'm doing mine seven stitches per inch, but I can't remember what all of the different options are. You, you knit a little bit with whatever yarn you're using, and then you measure how many stitches per inch you're getting. Look at the chart, and then that tells you how to go forward with the hat. So I'm doing the adult large. This is what I have so far. I need 20 inches, I believe, measuring from here. I think when I measured this morning, I was over halfway. So it's getting there. I started this because I desperately need a warmer hat. We've been doing some walks and it's, I love walking in the cool weather. But my hat, the only one that I have is a fingering weight hat and it's just not warm enough. This is fingering weight, but the way that it'll work, it folds in on itself. So you're going to have a double thick and even more than that around your ears. It's going to be super nice. The yarn I'm using is one I had been just saving for a while because it's from Amy of Noble Character Crafts and she does not dye yarn anymore. But here is her logo. The colorway is Dignity. It is just a absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous purple. So I am worried I'm going to run out of the purple yarn. I don't think I'm going to have enough, but I'm not concerned about it because I'm just going to finish it off with whatever grab some gray or grab a crazy color and finish it off. And then this will be the inside because it, the other end you can tuck in. Cause like I said, it folds in on itself. So that'll be the inside of the hat. So that'll help distinguish between inside and outside. Oh dear. I'm noticing I dropped a stitch. <sighs> Gonna have to fix that. Can you see that there? Whoops. No worries. I'll just grab a marker really quick. So that it doesn't drop down anymore. <laughs> I can show you how to do that really quickly too. Not really how to fix it, but if you see a drop stitch, what should you do? Little light bulb stitch marker. Just put it right through there close it up and then it's not going to drop down anymore on you and then you can go back and fix that. So what I'll end up doing is just you can see the gap there where I can pick that back up. I'll just pick it up to there and then tuck it to the inside and weave it in with a just a loose strand of yarn. And then I'll have to double check and see if my counts are off for any of my sections. If it is, I'm just going to increase a stitch and call it good. <laughs> I will not rip all that out just to fix the drop stitch. It'll be okay. And I don't want to pick it up all the way into there because the stitches might get too tight. So no worries. I'll just increase and it'll all be good. Nobody will know. One more 
I just started these yesterday morning. It's in a bag from my friend Pam. She does not have a shop. It's a super cute snowflake bag. I started a pair of socks for Eric. This is in some yarn from Pumpkins and Wool. This is her Vineyard colorway. It is a sock set. So it came with a full skein of yarn. Look how pretty that is. We love the kind of Merlot Cabernet color in there. And then it came with this mini skein. So I am knitting these for Eric. When she contacted me and she asked me to pick a sock set from her shop, I had Eric pick because he needs some more socks. He's been wearing his quite a bit lately. So this is the, the one that he picked. And I started just the cuff so far. I did two rounds of the mini for kind of a fun contrast on the top of the cuff. And then I've done knit one, purl one, ribbing. I'm going to do the shallow sock pattern, which is one of my designs. It actually calls for a twisted rib, knit one, purl one. But I just did regular old knit one, purl one for the cuff. I'm using the Haya Haya Flyer needles. Another thing I'm working on for Summer Sock Camp 2021. And I'll get started in with the design. I worked on these yesterday when I, I went over to Carrie's and we had some coffee and knitted and I got the cuff done, but I just wasn't feeling working on a pattern. So I worked on my muscle burg the rest of the time. Okay, I think that's it for today. Like I said, I forgot about my Christmas sweater. How did I forget about that? I have no idea, but <laughs> it's just, it's been a month since I've sat down to do this. That's why. I think a lot can get finished and done in a month. And then by that, you know, by today, it's like everything's tucked away and put in its spot. So you have to kind of think back and try to remember what you finished. I should have looked at my Ravelry project pages, but like I said, I will wear it for next week's episode and do a full chat about it. And I know so many of you are wanting that tutorial on how to add beads to your sweater and then me chatting about how I figured out bead placement. That's coming, it's halfway done. I just have to finish up really sitting down and chatting about how you find the placement for your beads when you're sitting down to do that. I just have to do that and then edit everything. Hopefully by the end of this month, that'll be up. It's just super hard right now to sit down to record anything because the boys are home, Eric's home, everybody's home right now. And I always feel bad being like, everybody go to your room and be quiet <laughs> so I can record. So it just makes it a little difficult because we're home all the time right now. Now I do have some stuff I received in the mail that I want to show you guys. The first thing I got, and you will have seen these if you watched vlogmas but i wanted to be sure to show them again so amanda of mandy's makings sent me a couple of sets from her shop this is the first one hey it matches <laughs> that matches my shirt it's super cute i love that color this is a sock set the colorway is happy tourist it is on her this skein is on her 8020 Superwash Merino Nylon Blend, 400 yards to 100 grams. And then this is on her 7525 Superwash Merino Nylon Blend, 80 yards, 20 grams. And then she also sent this, and this is such a fun idea. So this is her Share a Pair set. The colorway for this one is a festive holiday and deck the halls. And they are both on 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. That's 250 grams. So each one is 50 grams, 200 yards. And the idea is you buy this along with another one that matches and then it's share a pair. So you give the other set, you keep a set, you give a set 
to your knitting BFF and then you guys can knit socks together. How fun is that? So Amanda actually kept the other one to this. I need to get in touch with you, Amanda. I am dying to start this and it would be fun if we can knit them together. So I need to get in contact with you and see if you want to do a little, little knit along of our festive holiday and deck the halls. That pink is just so pretty. So check out Mandy's makings, especially this. This is such a fun idea. I've never seen another shop do this. And I think this would be a great idea if you have a knitting friend that has a birthday coming up. Great gift idea. The other thing I have is from Amplifiber Yarn. And oh my goodness, when you guys see these colorways, they are so stunning. So this one is Violet Skies. First, let's look at her logo. Oh, look at that little sheep with his boom box and his headphones. He's cute. So Amplifiber. And like I said, this one is Violet Skies. It is on her 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, 467 yards to 100 grams. Look at how gorgeous that is. This camera is picking that up perfectly. Then I also have Careless Whisper. I think this is on the same base as well, right? Yes, they are both on the same base. Oh my goodness, they are so pretty. Then she also put in the package this. So many minis, they are on various sock bases, which makes me so excited to try out. Sorry, there's a little bit of a glare on the plastic, but it's just such a fun way to show them instead of trying to take them all out. So they are all 20 gram minis. I love what she put on the back. This is not a set that she sells in her shop, by the way, I should say. She just put these together from what she had. But I thought that was cute. She put the crazy sock lady, hashtag scrappy Sunday, hodgepodge sock set. Before I forget, Amanda of Mandy's Makings has given me a coupon code for you guys to use. So she got in touch with me when she saw that I had reached 20,000 subscribers and said she would love to donate a $25 gift card to the giveaway. So that'll be coming later. I'm going to do all of those that are coming in for the giveaway at once, but she wanted to do a coupon code for you guys. I'll put it right here on the bottom of the screen and below with the, the link to her shop, but it will get you 15% off if you use the code crazy sock lady. So head over and check out Amanda's shop. I think I'm going to head over. I have a couple people that I would love to buy these sets for and then knit socks together. So <laughs> I think I'm gonna head over and check it out as well. On Monday, I had a video come out that went over my 2021 knitting intentions as well as a January Q and A. So you can head over and check that out. I won't go into all the details on my 2021 knitting intentions, but the January Q and A was fun as well. I answered some questions that you guys had put in here in the community tab on YouTube, as well as over on Instagram. I want to do a Q and A going forward. The plan is every month. Those will be here on YouTube. And the way that you can put your questions in for that is if you head over and check out that January Q and A video and put your question in the comments down below. If you ever have a question that it's like, Hey, I don't want to wait, you know, till the next video comes out to have that answered. Just get in touch with me at crazy sock lady podcast at gmail.com. If it's a specific question about a pattern of mine that you're working on, there is an email address listed within that pattern. That's the best place to contact me for that. But as far as questions go, please contact me via the email. Um, if it's not something that you want on the Q and A, that's the best way. Instagram messages has just gotten so crazy lately and they always get so lost in the shuffle. It's hard to keep track of them. Upcoming videos, there should be a Yarnable unboxing coming out here on the YouTube this Saturday. So be sure to check that out. It's the first um, Yarnable box of the year. 
I have it. I can't wait to open it with y'all in that unboxing video. And the beaded sweater chat should be coming by the end of this month. So that's kind of some fun things to look forward to. I'm planning on doing a couple of vlogs this month as well. Let me know in the comments down below if there's anything you would like to see here on YouTube coming, you know, as we're going into 2021, some different ideas that you guys may have. My boys should be going back to school the 19th. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Their virtual, it's just started back virtual yesterday after Christmas break. And then hopefully the 19th is when they will go back in person and we can kind of get some sort of normalcy in more of a routine going back. I know so many of you are feeling it as well, but it's definitely such a challenge having them doing the remote learning. It's just, it's rough. <laughs> it is so rough. I think that's gonna wrap it up for today. Thank you guys so much for watching episode 122. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys again soon. Happy knitting, bye.